All right, today we're in the process of removing all the equipment to put in the van floor. And we're almost done with unloading everything. And then we're going to head to Home Depot and then to get the plywood. And then after that to a industrial metal supply store for the diamond plate sheet metal, which is gonna go over the plywood. This is what the van floor currently looks like right now. It's a little dusty, dirty. I'll do a quick sweep and wipe down. And I gotta bring this stuff up and store it for now. And a lot of work to do today. Okay, here I'm going to blow out the van floor and I'm going to dust it and wipe it clean. Just a little pre-prep before laying in the plywood. I won't be bolting down the subfloor and the floor today, but I will be getting the subfloor and floor and having it cut as well as getting the diamond plate cuts for the rear doors. I will be lining them with diamond plate as well as another wall that will be going as a center divider to divide my auto detailing equipment. This van has been used for quite a few months since I acquired it as a mobile auto detailing setup. Basically a temporary setup as I've been purchasing the necessary equipment to complete the van setup, which is a tedious task. And I've just basically finished completing all of the purchases and I have the complete setup. So I took out my temporary setup and am beginning the build process to mount and customize the van. We are fabricating some steel frames to mount all the hose reels, to mount the generator slide out, shelves to house all of the equipment such as the steam cleaner, pressure washer, vacuum, air compressor, and carpet extractor, along with the water tank, the plumbing that goes with that, and the electrical that goes with the generator. We are moving forward with that build. As soon as the subfloor and floor is in after today, we'll be going through to the next steps. But here today, this video is about the subfloor and the diamond plate floor that goes on top. Don't forget to subscribe if auto detailing is your thing or van setups is your thing or DIY projects. You won't want to miss any of our upcoming videos. We will be doing videos about everything on this van. And there's a whole lot more stages of this van's build that you won't want to miss. So hit that subscribe button. Please give us a like. Your support will be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much in advance. All right, I wanted to talk a little bit about the van floor prep and a couple key points into doing the floor. Um, one is if your van has any scratches on the floor, you're going to want to possibly sand it to prep it a little bit to spray on some Rust-Oleum paint that's helped stop rusting. In my case, my van was pretty scratched up when I acquired it. So I had to buy some Rust-Oleum. Luckily, they had a color that almost matched it perfectly. And I'm really happy with the way it came out. 
and a little bit of overspray here and there, but I can always take that off. And that was pretty simple. It was a couple cans of Rust-Oleum paint and I sand up some of the parts that looked like it was a little deeper than usual and I painted it. Now this van should be protected from any rusting while the van floor is laying on it. Another key point, if you guys are wondering, where do I drill the floor into? See these holes right here? They already have very large pre-drilled holes that are holding these anchor points. You can attach your van floor to those holes so you don't have to drill any more holes. Another key point is do where do I cut the wood and who's going to cut the diamond plate? Well, Home Depot will cut your plywood piece, which is your van slub, sub floor. They will cut it to the exact shape for you. All you have to do is just buy it and then take it out of the store and place it in your van floor. You'll have a perfect fitting sub floor. Second, if you go to a diamond plating sheet metal supply store, they also will do that for you. And you can have your floor placed in in a matter of moments. Now, if you wanna do a little bit of sound dampening, such as Dynomat, which is um, a little bit of tape that you can tape around the edges or to create some cushion between the subfloor, which is the plywood, you can also do that and prep it a little further before you lay, um, before you lay in your plywood. That's about it, guys. Let's move on to the next step. Okay, here I'm doing some last minute measurements before we go inside Home Depot. Just making sure everything is correct. And here I'm checking the length and next I'll be checking the width. And I want this piece of plywood subfloor to go as far out as possible to give me more length. Here we are at Home Depot. Got my beautiful wife and my daughter with me today, which is special and lovely to have them here because building this business has been nonstop, time consuming, takes a lot of time away from the family. So it'll be nice to have her here today as we perform this task. All right, let's go. First thing you gotta do is get yourself a cart. Go. Okay, so here's the deal. This plywood is fir wood. This is one of the cheapest plywoods they offer and they do a lot of warping. So, I mean, for $22 or $29 a sheet, it's probably not quite necessary to go that cheap. There's a, lot, a bunch of different options. This is OSB board. This is a particle board. This is slightly better. It stays straighter. Then they also offer this subfloor board. 
which has little grooves here to connect. Don't really need that one. What I'm going with is this, this one here, pine. Oh yeah? Is that the one we should go with? Okay. So this is pine wood, it's a premium wood. And this is what I want in my baby here. That sounds a little bit better with the pine. The pine. Or you got the sandy. This is used for like countertops and uh, indoor housing. This is a really premium piece of wood for $69.95. If you really like aesthetics, you'd probably go with that one. And you even got maple wood. This is a maple sheet of plywood for $90, you guys. Wow, that's really nice. All right, let's load up. Let's get this going. All right, guys, this is the one. Looks nice and straight. I think I'm happy with this one. Excellent. Here we are test fitting the subfloor. The sheets of plywood come in a four foot width and the van is four foot width exactly as well. But sometimes the cuts of the plywood sheet aren't accurate. So before we wanted to do any cuts, we wanted to make sure that it was going to fit. After we determined that it fits, we were going to take it back into Home Depot and have them cut it to length. Uh, here we are cutting the van slub for. We just pre-fit it and the width is perfect, four feet wide. And now we are cutting the length down to six feet, eight inches approximately 80 inches exactly. Awesome. Thank you. It's playing. <laughs> it's like a glove, you guys. What a great fit. Love it. All right, let's go get the diamond plate. Alright guys, here we are at the Industrial Metal Supply Company. We just arrived and now we are going to look at their selection. 
Same thing, we're gonna pick out what we need. We're gonna have them cut it and we will place it in the van floor for our diamond plate floor. Let's go ahead and grab this. This is what we will need. And let's start to navigate this store. Sorry guys. Okay, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. Wow. I see my flooring back here already, I think. Hey, right, thank you. Some people go with those fours too. Looks like the sheet metal is gonna be in storage somewhere in the back. So let's find out where it is and then get back to it. Okay, here is the diamond plate. They have larger sheets, but these are some examples and you can see the thickness and so there's a lot of options you got to know what thickness you want it even comes as thick as that 0.250 I'm going with a 0 0.063, just for you guys info. You can get a little bit thicker between the 6.3 and the 0 0.250, perhaps maybe a 100, it's up to you. For a four foot by eight foot sheet, I believe is around $225. And we will talk to them shortly and get our sheet right now. And also they have different, so you have different selections. There's bright, there's embossed, five bar and what that means is embossed has this texturized texting texture you got the bright which is like the standard and then you have five bar which is a different design pretty cool leave in the comments down below what style Leave a comment down below. What style do you prefer? Is it the standard or is it the texturized embossed like this one? Or was it the five bright? Now I'm going to measure the circumference of my wall that's going to divide my equipment. And I'm also going to measure my doors because I'm going to line it with diamond plate as well. We already have the measurements for the, the floor. Now let's get this. We're just going to do a rough measurement because they're going to have to do more shaping later. Here I'm starting to take measurements of the rear doors to bring to the fabricator's 
so they can actually cut them to size, shape them out. Today I'll just be getting some, a general square piece that's around the same size as the door, a little bigger. And I'll be getting the center divider that will divide the rear of the cargo area um, from the front of the cargo area, which the rear is just going to be reels, um, hose reels and generators. And it'll be sectioned off from all of the plumbing and the water tanks and the machinery just for aesthetics to look more clean. And just finishing up the measurements. And just right. Don't want to be too hasty with this. This diamond plating is not cheap. It's pretty pricey. But when you're buying it from an industrial supply store like this, you will save a lot. You will get a wholesale price. If you do go to a custom van uh, store, a custom van shop that does flooring and diamond plating for a subfloor and diamond plate floor, costs upwards of $1,100. Some estimates are more, but it's around uh, $1,000. And it just keeps going up if you want your rear doors plated your walls plated um, definitely can get very pricey my grand total for today's endeavor was approximately uh, around 60 dollars at home depot for the wood and around $527 here at the diamond plating. I, I was able to get away with all this for way, way less than half the price. Okay, so we just made our purchase and it is going to be four separate cuts. We ended up getting two four by eight pieces and we were able to get three cuts out of those two sheets and then we bought a separate two by four foot piece to get our last fourth cut out of it for a grand total of $565 here at the industrial metal supply and we went with the bright embossed diamond plate 0.63 those are the totals there guys and now we are at the will call while they are going to do the pre the cuts for us which these are the pre-cuts and let's let this truck pass calm down diddly 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 they did their best shoddly italy italy diddly Gotta be nice, hostility, diddly, biddly, diddly. Ah, oh, hell, diddly, ding, dong, crap! Can't you morons do anything right? <gasps> hey. All right, so. These are the pre-cuts, which is just basically a rough cut that uh, is just to get started. And if we have to do any more. Okay, now we're at will call and we're waiting for them to pre-cut the pieces. And one of the reasons why we're waiting is because we didn't just buy the material we're actually we bought it and they can cut it for us so we had about four measurements and they're rough measurements we may need to do a little bit more correcting but for now we have 
a fair cut close uh, cut to the uh, the pieces that we need and they have heavy duty equipment here to be able to perform all those tasks very easily and we should be leaving shortly it's been a long day and baby's getting cranky Here's the finished product guys, it's that easy. One thing to note is that you can always shine up diamond plating to bring it to its maximum shine capacity to make it just bling and pop. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. We will be posting new videos in the van build each week and you won't wanna miss them. Thank you so much for watching.